It's only chapter four. We had finally arrived in Izo, and a bevy of familiar faces came rushing to the shore to meet us, and an indelible warmth flooded my chest. Yukimura Senpai, Buji datta n desne. Ikiteru na, ikiteru de. Taiyori no hitotsu gurai murete mo ii daro. Mamura kun, otsuite kudasai. Yeah, calm down. Otsuiteru wake nee jane ka. His voice sounds familiar too. I feel like I've heard him in a few enemies. So angry. Soma, Nomura, Shimida, everyone had seemed genuinely concerned. I was partly elated to think that I mattered as much to them, but I couldn't help but feel a tad uh, guilty. You guys, I'm so sorry for worrying you. だって心配してたんですか。どうしたの。無事だったんですね。当たり前だろう。奴らに一心報いてやるまで死ぬわけにはいかねえ。しかしまさかお前そんまで蝦夷地に来るとは思わなかった。Who's weird mustache man? So this one? Iba kun nara zettai ni kite kurere to omoimashi ta kedo. Yanomoto san, Otori san mo, o hisashiburi desu. Kochira wa bakushin no Yanomoto san to denshu tai o hikite ita Otori san desu. Oi, oi. President? That's a rather important position, isn't it? Eraいっつよりは、いざって時に責任を取らされる立場ってとこだな。万人にできることではありません。これ以上ないほど責任だと思います。ありがとう。どこまでやれるかはわからねえが、潔い責任の取り方をしてもんだ。日本の今後のためにもな。ここが最後の戦場になるだろうからよ。In fairness, both Sen and Kimikiku had warned me, so I was somewhat prepared for bad news, but it was a bleak and desperate situation. Say, I haven't seen Kondo, Saito, or Okida anywhere. Oh no. Sorry. As soon as I made mention of their names, the mood in the room instantly soured, and everyone's expressions became rather grim. My heart sank, and Hichikara let out a heavy sigh. Kondo san wa nakunotta. What?サイトはアイズに残った。生きてるか死んでるかはわからない。Oh, that's right. Saito stayed behind in Aizu in the other story. Me and him got it. He stayed behind in Aizu. Kimigiku had made mention that Aizu's lush fields were being reduced to smoldering ash. That Saito remained didn't bode well for his future. Even though I was hearing it from Hichikata himself, nothing could soften the blow of his revelations, and I felt dizzy trying to take all of it in. My knees wobbled and I wanted to faint. Yes, quite fine. No, I'll be okay. Please, let me stay with you. Oh. 
Iba shared a kind smile, but he immediately turned to Hichikata and resumed his stern expression. I followed after the two of them into another room, and Hichikata slid the door shut before going into a hushed but frantic conversation. そのことに関してなんですが申し訳ありません彼女をここに連れてきたのは新選組の皆さん方のもとにお戻しするためではないんですどういうこと彼女を狙っているものがいます僕がそのものから彼女を守らなくてはならないんです no, it's somebody else, Toshi. Yeah. Anata Mo Yoko Shite Kata. Moto Shin Sengumino Takata Sandis. Nandato. I see each tetanuka. Hi. Nasset's to not dead. Only no demo at a rare. Hitoya only of Haruka and Yoga Sons I to Narimasta. にわかには信じられねえ話だな。鬼の腕を与えられただと。そんなまねができるもんなのか。ええ。他でもないこの僕も鬼の腕を与えられた一人ですから。落ち水の力を借りて。ええ。他でもないこの僕も鬼の腕
この鬼の腕を得た時きつく幻明されたことがあります鬼の腕を持った者は人間の歴史を大きく動かすようなことをしてはならない決して人間同士の戦に関与してはならないとつまりお前は俺たちと一緒に戦うことはできねえってことか、うんうん、申し訳ありませんわびる必要はねえさお前に死ねなんて命じなくて済むんだからな Kijigata. There was regret in his eyes, and I only imagine how much guilt he may have felt losing so many of his beloved comrades against the Imperial Army. It was a burden that was impossible to bear alone, and he was the Shinsegumi's talisman. My chest tightened nervously as I watched him. Shikashi, Ezochi made a harbor of Oikake de Kurunanza. Omaera, monozuki dana. Otonashku Edoni Todomateria. Anshin shte kuraseta da ro. ですよあなた方のような人たちがいることを知ってしまったんですからねっ of course まあいいそんじゃその目で心いくまで見届けろよ俺たちの生き様をな<笑>はいただし一つ忠告しておくやむを得ねえ時を除いて羅刹の力は使わねえ方がいいそれはなぜです仙台で亡くなった三男さんや平助が言ってたんだがおお、だつらい、三男平助、they died 羅刹の力の源はその人間の寿命だ使い果たしちまえばその場で体が消えてなくなっちまうし。In a fit of terror, I glanced over to Eva, hoping for a bit of comfort, but. わかっています。僕が全力で戦う相手は。武田さん。ただ一人ですから。That's right, you cut off his head. I cut that arm off of him too. Eva was unwavering. I suppose to him, sacrificing his own life force was a small cost in the interest of protecting me. I was so overcome with gratitude for Eva's benevolence that guilt sank my stomach further. Just then, someone rapped the door boisterously. Oi! Kijikata san! Eva san! Isu made hanashite runs ka? Eva! Mada nagabiki sou nano ka? Enomoto san ga. 俺たちの歓迎会をしようって言ってくれてるんだけど酒も出るらしいぞ<笑> Lots of 酒トシさんたくついた早々酒の話かよまあいいや行ってこいせっかくの夜だからなはい行きましょう Sure そんじゃ、遠慮なく飲んでくれ。西洋の酒も意外といいもんだぜ。お、ありがとうございます。伊庭くんは西洋の酒は初めてかい？うん、いや、ないでないか、ウイスキー。吉野武功がお好きだったので、何度かお付き合いしたことがあるぐらいです。ラビダビスタッフ and ルッツタッフ、ヒヒ、yeah、there's both。さすが、将軍奥詰めを務めてただけあるな。まさに奥詰め。OK。少し飲んでみますか。And、look at his handsome face. How could you not fall in love with him? Look at the way his, the hair just frames his face so nicely. And his eyes. Oh my god, his eyes. Ah, well, me? I haven't got the stomach for it. 一口ぐらいならいいでしょう。ほら。And for some reason he's trying to get me drunk. I don't know how I feel about this. I feel like、mm, I feel like something might happen later on. 
Eva reached over a small porcelain cup with a brown liquid whose scent made my nose turn. I put the cup to my lips and took a small sip. It was syrupy, bitter enough to sting my nostrils. Oh, is it? Um, a little different than sake. It's, um, a lot thicker than anything else I've tried. I didn't say that. It's just an acquired taste, I suppose. More than anything, I felt a little shy. Eva offering me to drink from the same cup as him was flattering, and I replayed his invitation in my mind repeatedly. Suddenly, my cheeks went red hot, but I almost forgot I was in the company of others. Ooh. Best boy status. Yes, he currently has best boy status. What? N no, of course not. I haven't had nearly enough yet. Nomura, yabo na koto wo yuna. Mite ireba wakaru daro. Hehe. What? Wakaru te nani wo? Soma kun, mucha wo yu mono janai yo. Nomura kun ga iroko itte mono wo likai dekiru yo ni naru ni wa, ato jiu nen wa kakaru ni janai ka? I don't think he's one of the guys that I can romance, but he would be interesting. With spirits abound, both in our cups and in our hearts, the night felt akin to the days we had spent in Shimabara, one of Kyoto's famous destinations. Throughout the evening, I would turn my head, so cautiously looking for familiar faces whom I knew would never appear, and sadness gripped me. But I had to persevere and shake the feeling of grief to enjoy one of the few joyous nights I had experienced in a long, long time. Uh, as the room buzzed with excitement and the clicking of glass, Iba nodded at me, and the two of us went outside into the hallway to speak privately. Was it alright for you to leave from our own party so early? <laughs> True. Why don't you come in? Looks like it. I think your room is to the left of mine, and mine is right here. Pretty convenient, huh? Um, is something wrong? Yeah. <gasps> He's inviting us to chat in his room for a bit. Huh? As in... For a split second, I wondered if there were ulterior motives in his invitation, and I froze up. <laughs> I love how she always goes back to that. I couldn't help but remember the way he thrust himself upon me and my back dimples tensed. What happened? Oh, it's not that, but... So we're just going to talk, right? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I'm going to give you my experience. I couldn't discern whether or not Eva was being truthful, and I felt a little uneasy in his company. But, but you have full control of yourself, right? As in, the demon's voice doesn't bother you? Ooh. I too have had intimate thoughts about you. So he's admitting... Oh, damn. Things are gonna get interesting. Why would you tell a girl this when you're inviting them into your room? Especially now? <laughs> Don't tell them that you're having thoughts about them now. Then she won't want to go to your room. This guy. <laughs> Intimate thoughts. You know what that means, any <laughs> With that smile. With that smile. Oh, man. Back when the two of us were in hiding during when Eva was recovering from his severe injuries, we slept under the same roof, but he had never said as much to me. For him to express himself so openly, I had to make a decision. 
You are all I care about. <laughs> I'd be lying if I told you the thought didn't make me nervous. But even so, you, you're the only person I care about either. So if it's with you... <gasps> Did she just admit it's okay if it's with him? My heart galloped like a stallion in my chest. I waited for Eva's response, but he merely stared back at me blankly, which added to their suspense. Well, what could I do? I was beginning to worry that his offer was made out of mockery and my shoulders began to slump. Just as I began to feel like a fool, Eva rested his hand tenderly upon my shoulder, which felt safe underneath his gentle touch. A shiver traveled through my body, starting at the tip of my scalp all the way down to my toes. That's right. Well, I... I mean, this is my first time. I <laughs> oh, this is so funny. Oh, I mean, this is my first time. I can't really help myself from feeling nervous. <laughs> well, of course I do, but all of this is still so new to me. Ooh, it's getting hot in here. Ooh. My heart melted from his comforting words, and suddenly I felt my worries starting to faint. His cool, calm demeanor was so coaxing. Okay, I nodded. Later that evening, we were bundled next to each other, wrapped up in our cotton sheets in one bed. <laughs> My thoughts reverberated in the empty room. I remembered the faces of our old friends, and I couldn't help but quiver beside Iba. Kondo, who gave his life after surrendering himself to save the rest of his men. Okita, whose condition worsened every day and was incapable of doing what he did best. Could he ever pick his sword back up? As for Saito, his chances for survival in Aizu were slim to none, and my mind yearned for the sound of his voice. Nagakira and Harada were treading their own path. Both of them were such strong personalities that I knew their reasoning must have been solid. To what corner of the earth had those two traveled? My heart prayed for their safe and swift return. As for Sanon and Heisuke, they lived the rest of their lives fighting in the Fury Corps, but... I hoped that their deaths were painless and quick, and that their souls rested easily. Oh, this is so sad. Oh. I have taken all of our good times for granted, and only a year had passed since we were last together. But now, they were memories, petals in the wind. After a while, I could no longer restrain my tears, and a deluge came streaming from my eyes. Eva, seemingly out of reflex, wrapped his arms around me and pressed me close to his chest. <gasps> oh, this is so beautiful. I need this for a wallpaper. Oh my, I'm gonna, you know what, after we finish, I'm gonna look for all the pictures and just like make them my wallpaper. N no, we were basking in moonlight, which peeked through the window in brief flashes. My fragile hope was that they were short enough to hide the tears on my face, but such is the nature of hope that I was proven wrong. Eva was so perceptive, and as he posed his question, he stroked the side of my face softly. I couldn't help but nod. Just last year we were all together. It got me to wonder why I wasn't with them in the end. As I continued, my heart became untied. I am so sorry. Both you and the Shitsugumi warriors are giving your all, risking life just to keep fighting. I have no leg to stand on, no room to feel bad, no reason to cry like this, do I? Eva used his slender, delicate fingers to wipe my puffy eyes. And then... <gasps> 
what? He even brought his lips to mine gently. I had never felt as broken-hearted as I did in this moment, but Eva knew exactly what to do. He peeked at my lips, my nose. Oh, sorry, he peeked. <laughs> he pecked at my lips, my nose, my forehead, undoing all of the angst festering inside me. As his lips met back with mine, I felt like a little girl again, and I felt gratified by his supple, ambrosial kiss. Oh After my, how lewd! <laughs> <laughs> I meant after the stream in your own time, away in the shame. <laughs> I don't know. I'd probably have to look up a little bit more about what a doujin is. Look, I know what it is, but I've also never read one, so I don't know. Wait, have you read some then? <laughs> after a moment, he drew his head back. lifted the emotional weights tethering me down and my heart felt more at ease. Okay. In the safety of Eva's arms, I've drifted off to sleep, sinking into my soft pillow. That is one of my favorite CG so far. Ooh. 1869. Um... I don't even know what anime is. <laughs> sure, but... <laughs> Before we knew it, it was 1869. Life in Iza was fulfilling but tiring, but we had survived another harsh, freezing winter. On one particular evening... Iza, I brought some tea for you. I can also, yeah. Traditional doors slid horizontally, but I was still growing used to these new western doors that required knocking to gain entry. As with all things though, it will come with time. Here you go, it's still steaming, so please be careful not to burn your lips. Eva immediately grabbed a hold of the tea I'd given him and brought the cup to his lips. There was something fetching about how he held the cup in his hands. Eva's upbringing was well represented by his regal demeanor, and I couldn't help but blush. どうしたんです?僕の顔に何かついていますか? Uh, oh no, not at all. I hastily averted my eyes to the window from the embarrassment. Everywhere you look outside, it's white and plush. I mean, I'd heard stories about how far North Iso was, but I never knew one place could produce this much snow. It's truly a sight to behold. If Nagakira, Harada, and Heiski were here, they would be outside, caked in snow, throwing snowballs at one another with childlike abandon. I found myself chuckling at the humorous thought as my eyes watched the flakes float down. I heard Eva rest his teacup upon the table. Pixel. Oh, um, yes? What is it? Saki. Toshi-san and Toshi-san were talking about it. Oh. It's likely that in the fall, I spent the whole of winter in idle bliss beside Eva, one I hadn't felt since our days in Kyoto. A naive part of me believed that we could neglect the concerns of the outside world and live that way forever. But the war was far from over. Peace was an oasis in a massive, arid desert. その木に乗じてこのエゾチエとやってくるでしょうあなたを手に入れるために次こそ彼を倒さなくてはなりません。Right. Swagger bellowed from Eva's stern voice, almost as if he were convincing me to fight Takeda myself. Unlike Eva, Takeda had given into the voices inside of his head enough to fall into depravity by butchering innocent people to drink their blood. Allowing him to indulge in these irregular crimes was something neither of us could continue doing. Just then. Mm -hmm. Eva winced in pain, suddenly reaching his hands to his throat. Ooh, his cup of tea shattered against the floor. Eva? Bloodlust has struck him once more. Do you 
Want blood? <laughs> that was loud. As if silently affirming my question, his hair began turning stark white, and I gasped from panic. Eva, here, take my blood. I unsheathed my kodachi to make a small incision when... to deny him, especially as he grimaced in total agony in front of me. I handed him the kodachi and, my, and faced my back to him. Then, the icy edge of the kodachi rested beside my neck and, as he cut a tiny sliver, I felt a dull sting akin to a pinch nerve. I took a deep breath to study myself. Oh, he's not against it anymore. I remember in the beginning when we did it the first few times, he was like, how could you suggest that? Then his tender lips wrapped around my cut. I had to halt the urge to laugh <laughs> as his tongue flicked droplets of blood as it tickled me. Slightly in agreement. There was a keen pleasure to be taken in being Eva's sole proprietor of blood, and as long as he had use of me, I was his for the taking. As Eva mentioned, the thick sheets of snow soon melted in Iso, and we received word that the Imperial Army's navy reached Miyako Bay. The Shinsegumi men planned a heroic siege to take out the enemy's ships, but... Oh, they're back! Ichikata, Soma, and Nubura were the ones who were sent off in, on the daring mission, but... My warm welcome failed before it could begin. All of them stepped onto the deck with troubled, grave expressions, and my stomach turned. What? Hijikata's declaration caused my heart to skip. Suddenly, the world began to spin in front of me. As badly as I wanted to ask who had died, the truth terrified me, so I had to push through. Nomura's the, the guy that we met before with the... Oh no, is he dead? N Nomura? This guy! Nomura was a lively and curious soul who lit up the room with every interaction and I felt devastated taking in the news of his loss. Oh, but we... Oh, Although I had steeled my heart long before Iba on myself, or myself had set foot in Izo, I couldn't help but wonder if it was a mistake. I quickly disregarded those thoughts, realizing that being absent during the final moments would have ju been just as soul-crushing, if not more so. That's so sad. He's dead. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> he is dead. I mean, we didn't get to know him too much, but... Still. Oh wow, what's happening? Eva's prediction came true, and the Imperial Army stormed through the beaches of Iza to topple any remaining shogunate forces in the region. Eva, as commanded by Sen, was prohibited from participating in the murder of the but thanks to Hichikata's program, Eva was assigned to medical duties along with me, as we attempted to cart and carry any casualties we could find through the battlefield's bloody hands. <laughs> Hang 
you there. We're almost at Goryokaku. Nigatsu to omou ka? From the far, an Imperial Rifleman barked out to us, aiming the barrel of his rifle to move to position. Abunai! Moments before I saw the spark from the rifle's lock slam down into the breach, Evil left in front of me. And then, the rifle went off and the blast of gunfire echoed around us. Eva had unsheathed his sword faster than I could conceivably blink and reopen my eyes. By the time I had opened my eyes, I heard a pair of clinks from pieces of metal dropping to the ground, showing two bullet halves at Cuba's feet. Eva's feet. I said Cuba. Okay, here, let's go. I wrapped the wounded soldier's arm around my shoulders and sprinted us towards Goryo Kaku. By the time we had gotten to treating all the injured men, the hour had passed midnight. No, don't worry about me. I'm okay. It's the rest of the men we need to worry about. I thought I was prepared, but they just kept coming. Minor bandaging or the application of slings took care of most of the injured soldiers, but for those with severe lacerations or dismembered limbs, we were ordered essentially to offer comfort in their final moments, which was a depressing task. Oh no. <laughs> I was certain that both Iba and the Shinsegumi had given much thought to the notion that their dooms loomed over just the horizon, but the question of what compelled them to fight in the face of a towering foe floated in my mind. If I were an outsider to their organization, I would have thought it foolish, suicidal even. But now, I think I was beginning to understand. To tell you the truth, I've been wondering for years why men fought unwinnable wars. Some time ago, you attributed doing so to your duty as an agent to the Shogunate, right? はい。以前、幕府Iba's voice trailed off as he waxed poetic about the plight of the Shinsegumi. Admiration dripped from his muttering voice. As the glimmer in evil, e evil, Iba's eyes lit the room, I felt the urge to ask him a different question. If you could, would you want to fight alongside them? If I had never crossed paths with Iba, he wouldn't be burdened by his promise to send, and likely they could have changed the fate of the war with a swing of his sword. But Iba's eyes thinned, and he heaved a tiny sigh. <laughs> See, the thing is, if I chose the other one, I would be questioning his ability. Um, whereas this one, it's just... Yeah, I don't want to do that to the guy. I felt safe in the sincerity of Eva's promise. Butterflies flew in my stomach, and he shared a kind smile with me, as if he could read my thoughts.
June 11, 1869. As much as it pained me to say it, Iba's premonition about the Imperial Army's continuing on through the end of May came true, and they reached Goryokan. Wow. Bombastic cannon fire cracked through the air and rumbled the earth beneath our feet. Would everyone be safe out there? Iba and I patiently awaited our comrades' return, and cannon fire punctuated our deep, deep breaths. Then, our base's front door flung open. There stood. Oh, Soma, it's you. I'm so happy you're safe. Is everything okay out there? Soma dragged his feet in through the door, and he ignored my question in favor of slouching. Iba caught on to his strange behavior and pressed on. Oh no, who died now? Soma's shoulders trembled, and shallow breaths preceded a tear-filled explanation. Hijikata-sato. Motoyama-san-ga. No! No! Not Hijikata and the best friend! As he trailed off, Iba and I understood immediately. So desu ka. Toshi-san-to. Motoyama-made. Iba shut his eyes and bit upon his lower lip, showing an unbelievable amount of constraint as he let the news sink in. However, my heart broke as I saw his eyes quiver. Eva was never one to let his emotions best him, but two of his most precious friends had passed before he had a chance to bid them farewell. No! This never... Hijikata never dies! What? Why? <laughs> he never dies in the, in the roots. What will we do with the comic relief, the best friend? I know, Ben. It's like, oh, no. I think that was the last of the original characters. Everybody else from here on, it's like, a, it's like a new character. It was a cruel, unfathomable stroke of fate for him to have lost both of them at once. Eventually, Soma tilted his head to look back at us and began shaking with rage. <laughs> Hey, wait, Soma! Before Soma could sprint off, he turned over his shoulder and shot a dubious glance at me. Please, don't die. The faint light burning behind Soma's eyes gave me a small sense of relief as he ran off. Almost immediately after Soma darted back into the battlefield, a slew of injured soldiers was brought into our infirmary, prompting us to get to work. Even if Hichikata and Motoyama had both passed away, there was scant any moment for mourning. Instead, we toiled away our grief by tending to the wounded men, using our tireless work to numb their resounding pain. Later that evening, <laughs> Lights positioned around Goryokaku were being sniped by Imperial artillery, raising an alarm. Lee Shimada is still alive. Shimada, yes, we're here. What's wrong? It's the evil man. Oh boy. Definitely Takeda. Takeda san ni machigai nai de shou ne. Toto, kono hi ga yatte kimashita ka. Ikimashou. Kyou kaso, kare to no ketchak o tsukenakute wa. Okay. O futari tomo, dou ka o genki de. Oh, you're right. Actually, no, sorry. I'm just thinking back on it and like replaying his voice in my head. It is Aaron from Attack on Titan, right? <laughs> of course. Be careful as well, Shimada. We exchange cordial, cordial bows and bid Shimada farewell. So, Iba and I departed from Koryoga Goryogaku, hoping to settle Iba's straw with Takeda once and for all. A 
Upon our departure, we took immediate notice of the vast swaths of Imperial forces surrounding our border that we had guessed before. The ground was caked in blood and shell casings. From our vantage point, every Shogunate troop was overwhelmed by Imperial soldiers. It was unmistakably a sort of defense. As wave after wave of cannon fire tore apart the tight flanks of Shogunate soldiers, our men continued to wield their blades with power. They were candles at the end of the ricks, doing everything they could to keep the fire alive. We encountered an Imperial soldier quivering in his shoes as he pointed his rifle at us. He started shouting in panic, and just as the soldier pressed his finger above his rifle's trigger, he anticipated the path of his bullets, using his sword to deflect the incoming hailstorm of bullets without breaking his sword. <laughs> You're low on our list of priorities. He will radiate an awesome and intimidating aura, enough to convince the soldier to drop his fire on and flee from sight. It was a stroke of fortune, and we continued on. Eva and I kept low to the ground and ducked into a forest on the border of Goryokaku. Kitaka, Eva Hachiro, Soste, Kodo no Musume. I hate you so much, Takeda. I think I hate him more than um my twin brother. And that's saying a lot because I really hated my twin brother. A sloppy mess of blood coated Takeda's lips and cheeks, and he slurred his words like a drunk guard as he pointed his gaze towards, gaze towards us. He dropped a half-eaten arm to the ground, which hit the floor with a dull, sickening thud. At Takeda's feet was a gruesome array of scattered remains, thickening the air with a nauseating scent. Kodo-san no sugata ga miyatarimasen ga. Kare wa ittai doko e. あの男ならアイズで戦に乗じて血の手配をしていた時サイトに見つかって切り殺されたおお nice Saito <laughs> the choice of wording is very interesting though I'm glad I don't have to read that up father had been murdered by Saito Part of me felt inclined to mourn father's death, but now was neither time nor place to do so. だが、コードはもはや用済みだからな。この私の地さえあれば、羅刹などこれからいくらでも増やせる。そしてその女王にさえいれば、我々よりすぐれた子孫を残すことも<笑> Really gross shiver go through my body when he said that. Sonakoto Yurusto demo. Omote Rundeska Kisama Yuruso to Yurusmaito. What does she need a nun no can came on I? Hakome de Kono, what does she need to touch more Abisel Kotona de Kizni Abretano was Retanoka? Imano Bokua Anotoki no Boku de Marimase. あなたに破れることはない。相変わらず大きな口を叩いてくれる。では、圧倒的な力の差を思い知らせてやろう。It is. It made me chuckle. Made you chuckle. Eva shot a stern glance at me, signaling me to step back out of range of her duel. I hastily skipped back toward a bush, holding my breath as they began to step closer to each other. Ooh. I'm not gonna lie, Takeda looks better in the Fury um, get up than Eva does, though. <laughs> the hair of both combatants turned stark white, and the energy radiating from their shared contempt nearly paralyzed me in place. 
From Takira especially, an ominous, toxic miasma floated inches from the surface of his skin, making it so that I couldn't stand to stare at him for long. Then... Takira kicked at the ground, charging toward Iba. Iba! <laughs> Takeda raised his sword above his head, then... White sparks flew high into the air, and a deafening clang screeched out as their blades clashed. No. Mm -hmm. That's right, bitch! <laughs> Ibo was quick to deflect Takeda's incoming strike, catching the ladder off guard. At first, Takeda walled in his shock, but bounced back to put some distance between them. <laughs> You will eat your words in a few minutes. Once again, Takeda slashed at Eva forcefully, but Eva blocked the path of his opponent's blade handily. Both warriors kept steady track of the other's footwork, careful not to make any hasty missteps. <laughs> in the darkness, I could only make out the bright metallic flashes and the frightening flat crack of their blades meeting in a tense pattern. どうなっているのだ。この私がこざかしい道場剣術に翻弄されるなど。当てが外れたようですね。多くの人の生き血を吸って手に入れた力はその程度のものですか。バカな。何かの間違いだ。この私が貴様に破れるなど。Oh, there you go. Thank you, man. A flurry of desperate swings came from Takeda's blade, but Yuba smacked them away without trying. He traced the crescent path of each strike, nimbly weaving through them like a brush upon parchment. Takeda's face warped in frustration, and as his fatigue began to set in, so too did Henry. この私が貴様などに破れていいものか。生まれた時から地位も金も名誉も全て与えられただけの貴様などに。今の僕は伊馬家の跡取りでも将軍奥詰めでもありません。己の志に従って戦い続けてきただけのただの男です。かつての立場
Eba, Eba, I'm fine. Just stab through me, Takeda. <laughs> Pixel, I believe in you. And besides, if we don't stop Takeda here, then he'll just undo us later. Please, put everything into your strength. I could see Eba contemplating my desperate plea, and all of his sacrifices came to light. He lost his arm, threw away his humanity to become a fury, and fused a demon's arm to himself, and chose not to participate in human society. If we couldn't settle the score with Takeda here, then everything he had worked toward would have been a waste. Eva called out to be called. I did as he commanded. さよ Wait, wait, what happened? A blustery gust of wind brushed my cheeks. Ooh, that scream. From behind me, I heard Takeda's voice shriek out in pain. And then, my body jolted back from the collateral force, and something passed through my body. I felt Iba's strength, the full weight of it. Uh, Iba, w was I able... To help you? I was so elated that tears began to stream. And then everything went black. I am so confused. No! <laughs> what happened? No! What happened? Oh my god! Did I die? Oh my god! What happened? Oh my god. But I did. I don't get it! What did I do? No! No! Wait, wait, wait. Usually there's a, a, a last chapter, right? No! What did I do wrong? I don't think I did anything wrong. I got everything butterfly. -y. Hold on, hold on. There's a last chapter. There has to be a last chapter. That w Oh, I don't know. Pretty art is pretty. It is pretty. There is something else. Agreed. It ends with a cliffhanger. Oh my god, Pixel. I- I- Oh, no, no, no. There has to be more. I- I refuse to accept this. There should be one more chapter. There- there is one more chapter. I bet you I healed my my super quick healing abilities. Oh man, okay, I gotta come back. Oh, this picture though, I gotta refill my water. <laughs> Give me a second. Damn it! Ah! Eva. Okay, okay. Please let there be one more good chapter. Don't die. Okay, okay. Final chapter. Oh my god. <laughs> no! What's going on? I was coaxed awake by the soothing voice of the man I loved, and his breath tickled my ear. <gasps> okay, I'm not dead. The tenor of his charming words was dreamlike, and I struggled to open my droopy eyelids. Oh, that's true.
Whew. Whew. Not dead, see? <laughs> Good ending, not bad ending. As I finally forced my eyelids open, I met eye to eye with the face of my beloved Eva. He gazed at me coolly, flashing a bright, warm smile as he cradled me tenderly in his arms. <gasps> oh, have I been in a coma the whole time? Uh, Eva? Well, where are we? I awoke to the sight of a lush open meadow dotted with beautiful flowers underneath the vast infinite sky. Th this picture is so beautiful. The horizon stretched as far as I could see. It was disorientating, but in the best possible way. Oh, I've been in a coma the whole time. Oh, he called me his love. That's so cute. I sifted through the fog of my most recent memories, pie piecing everything together. Where's Takeda? Oh. This is making my eyes watery. The fact that he keeps calling me my love. Really? Then... I'm getting all fuzzy inside, guys. Wait, all his cravings for blood have disappeared? Is? And he called me darling. Oh my god, this guy's so sweet. Of course, I'll go anywhere with you, Eva. Huh? Blushed, feeling all of his affection course through me as our boundaries were now entirely gone. When we were children, this is what I had called him, so it was only fitting to come back to it. Hachi Ro. <laughs> oh, his voice is so sweet, it makes me all tingly. Hachiro cradled me more tightly and ran his fingers softly along my scalp. Your promise pulled my heartstrings, and I couldn't help but tear up in joy. Okay. For so long, I'd pined to hear these words come from Hachiro's mouth. A gentle gust of wind grazed our cheeks, and his bangs fluttered in front of his wild, wide, jovial grin. Oh, I'm so happy! That was my favorite. Finish! Yay!